Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. When I started giving my mocks, I was not really expecting a 99 plus percentile. But after I took the exam and uh, then the final the percentile came out, I was really really happy because 99 plus for me was a big achievement. 99.5 plus that was a even more bigger achievement for me. My name is Himanesh and uh, I come from Durgapur. I did my mechanical engineering from Jadavpur University, passed out in 2017. After that, I worked with Industries Limited for 22 months. After this, I decided to do an MBA. Actually, the MBA decision was quite for some time. Uh, I was interested in the operational supply chain. So finally, I cracked CAT and then I got into NITI, uh, where I'm currently pursuing my postgraduate diploma in industrial management. I decided to uh, prepare for CAT from 2016. I was actually aiming for CAT 17, so 2016 was the starting of my preparations. Uh, but uh, then the, my placements were going on simultaneously, so I couldn't focus much on that. And uh, the CAT 2017, I won't say it was a blunder, but uh, it wasn't up to my mark. I got 97.52. Uh, I was getting I am Shilong, but then I decided not to join and. Uh, work for a couple of years, get the experience and then make the move much more gradual. For CAT 2018, I actually started uh, somewhere in July. Uh, that was because I felt that I had a base in Quant, VRC and a bit in LRDI. So the fundamentals were not that much of a concern for me. I focused more on the strategy aspect. I started with a mock which I think is very important that you start with a mock and analyze where you stand, how deep you are in the water. Although I am an engineer and I normally prefer quant over any other section but it was that uh, I was not able to get the max uh, score out of quant so I needed to focus on each and every uh, sections. My month first strategy would be like uh, first I would go for the sectional mocks, try to get my score as high as possible, speed, accuracy, uh, trade off between both. And finally, during the weekends, I would go for uh, the full length mocks because that helps you develop the tenacity to sit for the three hour exam, which is very important in the long run, actually. I won't say that for me, there was a weak section. For me, the weaker aspect during my preparation and CAT 2016 uh, would be the accuracy. So accuracy is something which I was not focusing upon. I was focusing more on the speed. So even in the VRC section, although I was getting a lot of credit, but I was getting a lot of negatives as well. Even in the LRDI section, uh, even after solving a set, I was not getting all the set, all the questions in the set correctly. So this time around, I focused on the accuracy part uh, uh, selectively and uh, I assured for myself that I get as many questions as possible. Even though it would lead to a lesser number of attempts, I would see that even among the three uh, sections, uh, LRDI was one of my weaker sections because I felt that I could do more. Just the selection of the questions was uh, hampering my effort. So that is one area where I worked a lot. For LRDI, what I did was, I tried to solve as many mock papers as possible. And what I intended to do was get a strategy, look through all the questions first in the first seven, eight minutes. Before uh, early in 2016, uh, I was not uh, willing to give out that time, the initial seven, eight minutes to just glance through all the questions and select which one to do. I would just ran, uh, go one by one. This strategy helped me a lot. Uh, I segregated the attempts in level one, two and three. So I would definitely find a couple of questions in level one, which I would definitely solve within 15, 20 minutes, fetching me eight, uh, eight questions. And after that, I would focus on the level two. And if time permits, then I would carry on forward three to four sets. And you should be good to go ahead. Uh, that should fetch you a good score in CAT. Even in the mocks, that would fetch you a really high score. For VRC, uh, I focus mostly on the mocks. Apart from that, there's one more important thing that uh, helped me a lot was my reading speed. So I would go through any article that, that I would get in the day. Because the more I read, the more faster the word count is, the better it is to read the articles in the exam to get as much comfortable as possible. So I would follow live mint daily on a daily basis and that helped me a lot. Apart from that, uh, I also focused on getting my RCs more accurate. For that, I signed up with Bodhi Prep and uh, as well as I had taken mocks from a career launcher. So both of them together actually helped me a lot in making my fundamentals much stronger as well as improving my accuracy. 
for LRDI, I focus only on the uh, mocks. For LRDI and Quant, I focus mostly on the uh, mocks. And uh, the number of mocks you give is actually very important. More the mocks you give, the more easier it gets. And once you find the correct strategy for yourself, then stick to it and then it helps in the long run. It's very essential to talk to a senior or some of your peers who have already gone through the same process. And I'm pretty sure that everyone will say that you begin with the mock. Because the moment you take a mock, you get to know where you are. For me, the first mock was a icebreaker and I ended up with a meager 80 percentile. But now I understood that where I made the mistakes, like I maybe I was lacking concentration during the three year mock which is very evident in the first few days. Gradually, in the next mock, it started going par 90. Slowly, it was 90 to 95. And towards the end, it was like between 95 to 97. That was probably in the month of late October, November. And I maintained that percentile. That's very important that you maintain a percentile. There may be difficult mocks, but it's all relative. So getting somewhere between 95 to 97 should ensure a good call. During the mocks, I did one thing that was uh, tracking each and every question uh, and in the mocks they would also provide how much time the topper took so I would compare my time and the topper's time I would make a note of it and sometimes and I feel that most students would find that that you were good than the, uh, better than the topper in some questions but there are few questions where you tend to take much more time so th those are the areas where you need to focus on either leave the question or um, maybe practice more such questions so I found a pattern and I'm quite sure that everyone would have the pattern. So you just need to figure out which are the sections, uh, which are the questions which you feel are your strength or where you are investing more time and which is actually make you fall behind in the final on the D-Day actually. So you need to focus on those particular questions. You need to eliminate them right at the beginning itself. Apart from that, I also made a point that I uh, analyze a lot on the mocks. This is one thing I need to uh, emphasize on because taking a mock would take only one hour for the sectionals but the uh, analysis should be made for at least two to three hours i would spend a considerable amount of time introspecting the questions why i made why i was thinking in that same in that direction and do i need to uh, rethink or do i need to again go back to the fundamentals so that actually helps while analyzing mocks first the first thing which you get to see is that what was your accuracy for me in the beginning it was dreadful like i would attempt a lot of questions in vrc lrdi even in the fonts which was my stronger section but i was getting a lot of them incorrect so that is the first thing which people should focus on the accuracy as well as the speed like if you are very slow then you should focus on getting as many questions correct from the from the next mock luckily for me speed was not that big a factor but yes uh, Accuracy is something which you need to have and apart from that I also took into account like just like just like I mentioned that the time which you are taking for each for each individual question there will be difficult questions you just need to strike them out and be very selfish in those aspects that whatever happens even if I like that sec section but I am not going to do it so that bit of uh, self selfishness is I think required for a complete exam like mock uh, for me even in the uh, LRDI section that uh, there was one strategy that I needed to follow that was which question I was going to solve. Uh, I would go through the video solution. There would be some video solutions. I would find out that yes, I had a lot of easier questions, but I did not attempt those. So while analyzing, I would find out that, okay, so this might have been an easier set for me, but I just overlooked it because it was right at the end. So I needed to devise my strategy accordingly. In 2016, when I was still a fresher, I felt that I was overburdened with my projects and my placements and I felt that I was having less amount of time. And I decided to take CAT while I was doing my job. But little did I know that it would be a much bigger challenge because while working with Reliance Industries Limited, there was not just the pressure of time management, but also the fact that uh, you had to give a considerable amount of effort physical effort in your day-to-day -day activities. Uh, my workers were mostly from 9 to 6, but it would uh, go on to 7, 8 for a few days. What I did was, uh, during the weekdays, I would take three sectional exams, two to three, on alternate days. One day I would take the exam, analyze the mocks. Next day, I would rather go for the, um, where I could improve my performance. 
मे बी द फंडामेंटल्स और मे बी माई स्ट्रैटेजी और सॉल्विंग अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन हेयर एंड देयर द नेक्स्ट डे अगेन आई वुड गो फॉर डिफरेंट सेक्शन एंड टेक द मॉक एंड एनालाइज एंड गो ऑन लाइक दैट ड्यूरिंग द वीकेंड्स आई यूज टू फाइंड टाइम एंड आई इन्श्योर दैट आई गिव एटलीस्ट वन फुल लेंथ मॉक इट इज ओके इफ यू नॉट इफ यू डोट स्टार्ट विद द मॉक सो फुल लेंथ मॉक सो अर्ली बट एटलीस्ट गिव द सेक्शन इनिशियली सो दैट यू नो वेर यू स्टैंड इन द इंडिविजुअल सेक्शन एंड फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर आई स्टार्टेड विद माई फुल लेंथ मॉक एंड आई हैड रफली गिवन अराउंड फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी फुल लेंथ मॉक्स आई थिंक दैट्स अ optimum amount of mocks you can give but then depends from person to person so i feel that that was enough for me to crack cat in the end in this journey uh, something which kept me motivated was my dream to uh, end up with a supply chain uh, career and that when the management role i was i'm for neeti for quite some time uh, because a uh, few of my seniors had already been there and that's how i came to know about neeti back in 2015 and 16 definitely i wanted to go to a im but yes supply chain and operations was one of the key areas where i wanted to uh, grow myself into and that kept me motivating throughout the journey when i started giving my mocks i was not really expecting a 99 plus uh, percentile but after i took the exam and uh, then the final the percentile came out i was really really happy because 99 plus for me was a big achievement 99.5 plus that was a even more bigger achievement for me when i told my parents and they were like come on you were going you were telling that you would not even reach 99 this is well beyond our expectations and yeah that help uh, that actually gave me a lot of confidence that yes i uh, if you believe in yourself you can achieve just have the composed nature throughout the process have a perseverance and determination stay motivated throughout the journey and that will definitely help you just do not think on the day of, or the day of the exam if your strategy is right it will help you cross the line first um, b school uh, which i got through was mdi and after that i went got through sjm som it bombay and then i got through neeti iim shillong and most of the new iim so the foremost thing that i would like to mention uh, during uh, which people should focus on is really that uh, they should be disciplined during the preparation because even if you are doing good and if you live out in the uh, journey then you might falter in the long run because cat is a long process doesn't end just at the exam but it goes beyond so it's very important to have discipline and as well as focus i'd also advise to focus on the uh, accuracy aspect for me i would like to mention that uh, what were my attempts it was like 28 in vrc 14 in lrdi and 20 in quant and i got only 3 or 4 uh, mistakes in the entire paper so if you are focusing on accuracy and speed simultaneously if you can that will really fetch you a high score because a lot of time people end up attempting a lot of questions but getting a lot of negatives as well just because they think that paper is easier so i should be attempting a lot of questions if you attempt with a 95% plus accuracy then that will really that will definitely fetch you a much higher percentile apart from that i would also like to mention that to have confidence in yourself because it is very important to have confidence if you don't have confidence in yourself you might not uh, have that depth and you not have uh, might not have that will to go forward carry on even during the times when you are not doing good so you should just have faith in yourself and that will help in the long journey something which i would like to tell the aspirants don't over hype cat and focus on it step by step and that would definitely lead you to the success just don't get panicked in the long process if you are good with your hard work and your determination good things will automatically follow up